HTML5, Hypertext Markup Language Version 5, is the latest evolution of that the standard that defines HTML. The first released HTML5 in January 22, 2008. It is a new version of the markup language HTML, with new different elements, behaviors, attributes, and a larger set of technologies that allows the building of more diverse and powerful websites and applications. What are the new features provided in HTML5? Some of the new features provided in HTML5 are It provides support for local storage New form controls, like calendar, date, time, email, URL, search Canvas element is provided to facilitate 2D slash 3D drawing The video and audio elements are provided for media playback New content-specific elements are provided. For for example article, header, footer, nav, section. Graphic elements, SVG, canvas. Error handling. New APIs. Can you explain about the new canvas element? The new canvas element provided by HTML5 aids in 2D drawing. It uses the tag canvas. This tag helps in drawing graphics through scripting usually JavaScript. What are the various elements provided by HTML5 for media content? Audio and video elements are provided by HTML5 for media playback. The tags used are Audio, it defines sound content. Video, it defines a video or a movie. Source this tag defines the multiple media resources for video and audio. Embed. It provides a container for an external application or interactive content. Track. It defines text tracks for video and audio. What are the new form elements made available in HTML5? The new form elements in HTML5 provide for a better functionality. The tags provided to carry out these functions are Data list. It specifies a list of options for input controls. These options are predefined. Keygen. This tag defines a key pair generator field. Output. It defines the result of a calculation. What are the various tags provided for better structuring in HTML5? The various tags provided for better structuring in HTML5 are Article. This tag defines an article. Aside, it defines content other than the page content. D this tag isolates a part of text for formatting in a different direction from other text. Command, it defines a command button to be invoked by the user. Details, it defines additional details that can be viewed or hidden by the user. Dialog, it defines a dialog box. Figure, this tag specifies content like illustrations, diagrams photos, code listings, etc. Fig caption, it is used to provide a caption for a figure element. Footer, this tag defines a footer for a document or section. Header, this tag is used to define a header for a document or section. Group, when there are multiple levels in a heading, it groups a set of H1 to H6 elements. Mark, it defines highlighted text. Meter. It defines a scalar measurement within an own range. Nav. It defines links for navigation. Progress. This tag exhibits the progress of a task. Ruby. It defines a Ruby annotation for East Asian typography. Write. It defines an explanation, pronunciation of characters for East Asian typography. RP. This tag tells the system what to display in browsers that do not support Ruby annotations. Section, it defines a section in a document. Summary, it provides a visible heading for a details element. Time, this tag defines a date, time. WBR, this tag defines a line break. What is SVG? SVG is the abbreviation for Scalable Vector Graphics and is recommended by W3C. It is used to define vector-based graphics for the web. The graphics are defined in XML format. 
An important quality of SVG graphics is that their quality is maintained even when they are zoomed or resized. All the element and attributes of SVG files can be animated. What is a canvas? What is the default border size of a canvas? Canvas is a rectangular area on a HTML page, specified with the tag canvas. By default, a canvas has no border. To get a border on the canvas, a style attribute is required to be used. What are the advantages of SVG over other image format like JPEG or GIF? Following are the main advantages of using SVG over other image formats. It is possible to scale the SVG images. They can be created and edited with any text editor. The print quality of these image is high at any resolution. It is possible to zoom the SVG images without any degradation in the quality. SVG images can be searched, indexed, scripted, and compressed. What are the differences between Canvas and SVG? The table below shows some important differences between Canvas and SVG. Canvas is resolution dependent while SVG is not. Canvas does not provide any support for event handlers while SVG does. Canvas is suitable for graphic intensive games while SVG is not suitable for gaming. Canvas is suitable for small rendering areas while SVG is suitable for large rendering areas like Google Maps. Which methods are used to draw a straight line on a canvas? Following methods are used to draw a straight line on a canvas. Move to X, Y. It defines the starting coordinates of the line. Line to X, Y. It defines the ending coordinates of the line. The actual line is drawn with the help of a method like stroke. What are gradients and canvas used for? What are their different types? Gradients and canvas are used to fill rectangles, circles, lines etc. The gradients and canvas are of two types. Create linear gradient X, Y, X1, Y1. It creates a linear gradient. Create radial gradient X, Y, R, X1, Y1, R1. It creates a radial, circular gradient. Which method is used to draw an image on the canvas? Draw image image, X, Y, method is used to draw an image on the canvas. HTML5 provides drag and drop facility. How do you make an image draggable? To make an image draggable, the draggable attribute is set to true. Im draggable equals true. Can HTML5 get the geographical position of a user? Yes, HTML5 can get the location of a user with the use of geolocation API. Use get current position method to get the user's current position. What are the audio tags provided by HTML5? HTML5 provides following audio tags. Audio, defines sound content. Source, defines multiple media resources for media elements, such as video and audio. What are the new input types provided by HTML5 for forms? Following are the important, new input types for forms provided by HTML5. Color, used for fields that should contain color. Date. Allows the user to select a date. Time allows the user to select a date and time with time zone. Time local allows the user to select a date and time without time zone. Email used for input fields that should contain an email address. Month allows the user to select a month and year. Number used for input fields that should contain a numeric value. Restrictions on type of numbers accepted can be set. Range, used for input fields that should contain a value from a range of numbers. Restrictions on type of numbers accepted can be set here as well. Search, used for search fields. Tell, defines a field for entering a telephone number. Time, allows the user to select a time. URL, used for input fields that should contain a URL address. Week, allows the user to select a week and year. What is HTML5 Web Storage? With HTML5, 
it is possible for the web pages to store the data locally in the user's browser. This web storage is much faster and secure than the cookies. Also, a larger amount of data can be stored without causing any adverse effect to the performance of the website. The data here is not included with every server request. It is used only when it is asked for. It is only that particular web page that can access the data stored by it. What are the differences between local storage and session storage objects? Local storage object stores the data without an expiry date while session storage object stores the data only for one session. With local storage object, data will not be deleted when the browser window is closed while the data is deleted when the browser window closes with session storage objects. What is the concept of application cache in HTML5? What are its advantages? The application cache concept introduced by HTML5 means that a web application is cached, and accessible without an internet connection. There are three advantages of application cache. Offline browsing, users can use the application when they're offline. Speed, cached resources load faster. Reduced server load, the browser will only download updated, changed resources from the server. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Leave a comment and like. Share this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.